back into Fusion 360 and we're going to have a look at designing uh, the logos for each of the uh, buttons on the Apple TV remote. So I've loaded up a blank screen again, although you will probably already have your model open. I'm going to click on Show Data Panel and you would click into your admin project, but uh, I'm already in my Apple Products project folder. So I'm going to double click on Y9 Lesson 1, which is the model that I saved over before. And as soon as it's loaded up, I'm going to close my data panel and you can see the buttons that we added uh, after the last tutorial. So a repeat process, we're going to choose the surface that we're going to do our next sketch on. And I'm going to start with the menu button and I'm going to right click and I'm going to create a sketch. Now I'm going to zoom in. It just makes it a little bit easier to work with. And I'm going to click on create text and you'll notice not all uh, buttons on here have a shortcut key and I'm going to click somewhere out to the left hand side and I'm going to enter in capitals the word menu. Now there's a couple of things that you'll notice first of all it's upside down and secondly it's too big so I can go over to the command box and enter two millimeters and in the angle I can enter 180 and it should flip the word menu over and I press OK because I'm happy with the font and while it's blue, I should be able to left click and drag uh, menu over to the center of the button. Now at this point, I'm going to finish the sketch and I'm going to extrude the word menu, which is already selected. And I'm going to extrude it by 0.01. Now this is a very small amount, but it's just to show uh, that it's a different surface. Uh, and you'll understand why later when we're adding a render. So if I zoom in and tilt the model, you can see that it is its own separate surface now. So I'm going to go back to the home view and I'm going to choose button number two. And I'm going to click on create sketch and I'm going to zoom in. Now this one is a, a small TV screen. So I'm going to click on create rectangle and center rectangle. It's important that you click on this one rather than the, lo uh, the logo up here uh, because we don't want a two point rectangle. The center rectangle will allow us to hover near the center of the circle and we can click and start to drag a screen. So we're going to do two by three millimeters and press enter. And then we're going to use a new feature which is called offset. So we're going to click on offset and that will allow us to choose a drawing we've already done and to produce a, a perimeter around it or inside it and we're going to do our perimeter by minus 0 0.5 and enter. And the final stage is to draw a rectangle underneath. So I'm going to go from the center, I'm going to drag down and I'm going to click and drag a rectangle that is uh, 0 0.5 by two. I'm going to press enter. So now I need to finish the sketch and I need to extrude the screen and the base. Right again, if you accidentally click on that one, you can just click on it again to undo. And I'm going to press 0 0.01 again. And we have our TV screen.